Happy weekend everyone! Today is Saturday and it's another beautiful day here in Melbourne. So I said Auntie is doing this from the balcony again. Today I actually just got delivery from this Nyonya Kui lady who lives in Melbourne obviously but she is very very famous in making her Anku Kui and all sorts of Nyonya Kui. I have been trying and trying and trying if you will believe me for almost two years to order her her food to try so today i'm very lucky i just got delivery not of her sweet kueh but of her savory kueh set so let's see what why is auntie got today and we can all try together okay so this lady her business is called baba's wife yeah so and she looks like a very pretty lady on facebook i have not met her before but she's always very kind and gentle and pleasant so let's see what we have got here today mm. yeah, can see a lot oh, so good so we got thai kui then we got Yam cake and okwe and then we also have ji kwe. So let's try the I don't know what to try yet. And she also gave us like you know some sambal. So I think this sambal is for the okwe. So okwe or the yam cake. These are very traditional uh what we call nyonya uh kue or desserts but they are savory desserts so i suppose instead of dessert you can call them maybe nyonya entrees yeah so let's try the chai kue first mm. yum there you go the chai kue is made from predominantly the feeling what we call yam kue yam yam I can't remember what it's called. So, but like you know, in um, Malay or in Chinese, we call it bangguang. Okay, so bangguang is a root vegetable and it's really sweet and crunchy. Mmm, yummy. Usually, people like to eat this with chili sauce. But today, because I want to taste the actual flavor of her ingredient, like you know what she has used. The marinade everything that's why i didn't um, use any chili sauce and first bite it's very good even though i have not re-steamed it reheated it the skin is still very soft and supple it's not too thick as you can see it's quite a thin skin mm. and it is full of just this yam bean that's what it's called yam bean bang guang mm. and i can also taste the dry prawns in there I don't know if you can hear the crunch of the bangkwa as I chew it but it's definitely very very um as master chef will say the textures are good the softness of the skin with the like you know slight crunchiness of the filling and also like you know now and then as you crunch into it it interspersed with like you know the slight roughness the slight slightest slightest texture of the chopped up dry shrimp and the saltiness from it mm. good next up i'm trying the ji kue that's the ji kue it's steamed with i think um hold on yep the top is dried turnips. It's a rice cake with like a dried turnip topping. Mm -mm. So good. The topping is so crunchy and salty and a little bit sweet. And then the rice cake is obviously bland and soft. It's like yum. As you you bite into it, you get this crunch, and you get this soft, and then you get this salty. It's like yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, lastly, let's try the charo cake or yam cake or okwe. Hmm. Everybody has a slightly different recipe because I know every family, most of these recipes are passed down from one generation to another generation of the women in the family. Yeah, and like, you know, normally that's this a nyonya, nyonya family, nyonya tradition. So that's the okwe. And because yam always like, you know, after you've cooked, it has that slightly, I don't know, like a purpley-ish type tinge. And that's why I like, you know that's all natural color. Mm, I can really taste the five spice herbs, the five spice powder. And I'm going to have it with some of this sambal that came with it. Mm. That one it's definitely full of um, the yam bean very dense no no wonder the box is so heavy mm. so out of the three i have to say the ji kue was my favorite so good followed by the chai kue and the ok kue is good too but i think it's because the other two are they're so yummy. By the time I got to the third, it may not have done the okwe like I know, the 100% the, the justice that it deserved. Either way, they're still yummy and I'll still enjoy it later today with Waisei Uncle. So thank you everyone. If you like what you have seen, please give Waisei Auntie a thumbs up, subscribe and help me share. Happy weekend and stay safe until next time. Adieu.